Elle writes, would a prequel to the start of Game of Thrones spark your interest? You know, he, this is one of the funny things. We mentioned this, I think, about a year ago. I would actually be on board for a prequel movie to Game of Thrones. And there's a couple reasons why. Number one, when they talk about the history and the Dragon Wars and all that kind of stuff in Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. some of that stuff sounds pretty damn interesting, yeah. right? But here's the thing. You set that far, far enough in the past, you could release that as a movie. It could be really engaging on its own. Because it's in the past, nobody has to have watched Game of Thrones. Right. Because that's the thing. A lot of times when people talk about turning a TV show into a movie, well, now you're limiting the audience. You're simply limiting the movie to the audience that already watches the show. And while a lot of people watch Game of Thrones, it ain't enough to make a profitable movie. But you do this far enough in the past, people don't have to have watched the show to go and see and enjoy the movie. And that movie could then become a gateway drug to getting people to get on HBO and start watching Game of Thrones shows. It, this is actually one idea for a prequel, which I normally don't like, that I'd actually be on board for because I think it makes sense, Christian. There's such a rich history there, too. Yeah. And, you know, and you guys have heard me it's on Blue in the Face talking about the Old Republic with Star Wars is that there's because there's a rich history. This is something, it, it is an absolute, uh, it's a mythology that we, know, if you are a fan of the show, you know a lot about and you'd want to see oh, do I get to see more about the Kingslayer or or how Ned Stark was able to meet the Baratheons and all that type of, that would be really cool. But on the flip side of that, go farther in the past if you want and let's see more dragons. Let's see, there's so much you can do. A movie setting it up, I agree with John, could really get you, if you've never watched one episode, you go, sign me up. Sure. I, uh, I would love to see any type of theatrical releases for Game of Thrones because they did an experiment of, like a month ago. They took the last IMAX two episodes thing. of season four's Game of Thrones, the last two episodes, and IMAXed them, re, you know, re, redid them so that they're like, you could play them big screen. And boy, was they, it was fantastic to see those, those television shows, which are basically mini movies projected. I was like, wow, this, oh, this blew away half the films that were in the theater. I was like, HBO, if you got it smart, you should you should be like weaving your 10 episodes into five mini movies and playing those in theaters. You're going to just make extra cake because people like me would be like, hey, I've already seen it, but now I want to see it in the big screen. I mean, because it just elevates it into so just hearing that music with like just, I mean, yeah, that's like, yeah, you can't ever get that out of your head. <laughs> yes. ah, you know, that's insane asylum stuff. I can't get the music. out. But anyway. Game of Thrones, going back in time, like to the, when the White Walkers roamed yeah. the earth, mm. that kind of stuff. You could go, like you're saying, go back 5,000 years. Why, you don't have to even deal with the Starks. Or the Starks were still around, but a more, way more primitive societies. Right. The know? forging of the throne yeah. of swords, yeah, so how they, they, they starting the, the Night Watch. The Mad the, King. Yeah. The Mad King. Totally. Yeah. There's so much there. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.